All right, so the look of it, this is gonna be a big retaining wall. It's about 80 feet long, eight feet high, 12 inches thick. The footing is 24 inches thick, seven and a half feet wide. It's gonna be a double mat for the footing, double mat for the wall. Shout out to the client. He followed us on YouTube, called us up, said he wanted us to do it. He also did the excavation. So I'm hoping he has some before pictures and I'm gonna get that up on the next video. It's probably gonna be about four or five videos to this project. This one is us building the back of the wall only. Took us about three days to get it up. The next video is us gonna be installing the rebar. And then the third and fourth video is us pouring it and stripping it. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated. I appreciate all the DMs and um, text messages, people checking in on me, making sure I was okay. But like I said, we've just been pretty busy in the field. So I hope everyone's been doing well, staying positive. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna let this video ride out, jump in and out on the narrative. And uh, yeah, that's what we do. Let's get to it. So I'm glad the price of wood has came back down. With this one, we had to use a lot of two by fours here. We're using this DeWalt table saw. This is to help us make the kickers. Um, it's just a lot more efficient than what we was doing with the skill saw. So if you stick around to the end, you will see how we support the back of this wall. And another thing I want to point out, ideally on our main stakes, we go about four or five feet on center. Just because of the height of this wall, we went three feet on center. So this is a nice little table saw. So if you guys are building retaining walls, um, I recommend you get this. It's a lot more efficient than doing it with the skill saw. Um, we have about four or five of the big batteries. They did okay overall for what we were cutting. But if you're cutting like old rough wood, you will go through the batteries. But if the wood is pretty fresh, um, the batteries last a good minute. But I will recommend you get four or five batteries if you're gonna be building retaining walls. This is the DeWalt one. So get there, I think there's six amp or nine amps. So guys, again, if you've got any questions, let me know. I just want to jump in and tell you why we're using this table saw.
All right, so with this video, again, this is just the back of the retaining wall. We're going to have another video come out where we're going to be installing rebar. It's about seven tons of rebar that has to be installed on this project. This wall is 12 inches thick. The footing, again, is seven and a half feet wide, two feet thick. So it's a pretty big project. Got about 60 yards for this project. Right, if you want to check out some behind the scenes follow us on instagram i pretty much post there every day if not every other day so check us out there and other social media platforms all that information is down below now if you're in the sacramento bay area you know you can hit us up all our information is below We're pretty much busy to the end of the year but if you got some projects in mind that needs to have a soil engineer look at it or a civil engineer structural engineer look at it hit us up and we can start the process. Again, you want to stick around to the end. You can see some pictures on how we stake the back of this wall. Again, ideally we go about four or five feet on center for our main stakes, but due to the height of this wall and the thickness of this wall, we went about three feet on center. And then we really had to uh, stake it down with some kickers in back. So you can check those pictures out at the end. Right, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um like i said this is just the back of the wall i got four or five more videos coming out for this project we got another project down in the south bay we also got another big project down in the south bay so some videos will be coming out for that one pretty soon and you know it goes without saying hang around people that are positive it's cool to ask for help catch you on the next one